So now, next up, we are really excited, and I'm so honored to present Ermi Walker. She is here with us in person um, to do an acoustic unplugged set, just like we said, this is our unplugged concert. And Ermi has just brought so much great energy to the space since she's been here this evening waiting for her performance time. And she is so excited to perform for you guys. I've heard so many great things uh, about her. She's performed uh, for another program with one of our partners, the CD Forum, uh, for one of their past events. And so she came highly recommended. And so we're so honored that she agreed to be uh, uh, involved in our We Out Here virtual concert. So let me tell you a little bit about Aramy Walker. She is a multi-dimensional musician, writer, and educator who intends to use the power of music, technology, and transformative practices to catalyze a shift in consciousness throughout the world. Inspired by poetry, music, and language, she hopes to use traditional and non-traditional media to promote a healthier way to share stories and develop society. So in just a moment, you are about to be wowed and amazed by Ms. Aramie Walker. These roots go It's a hypnotic meditation, positive vibration, elation. This is a sensation. Wait until I come up words that sum up the indifference of you and me. I equality, I just want to see eye to eye so you can realize the mask and masculinity, the disguise you were born into. But your mindset is up to you. Hopefully you make it through. That is persistence. This is resistance. Wondering who this is. Searching for myself in doorways, hallways, closets, apartments with keys. Singing songs that bring you to your knees. I just want to breathe. I just want to breathe. I am not afraid to say no, just so you know. I am not a monkey nor a hoe, where's my dough? Bread rose an hour ago, so we break it. Make no mistake, this wit was designed to illuminate the state with elevated consciousness. I'm sick of all the nonsense in media, hysteria, criteria, not innocuous. My words are inconspicuous, a mystery to the sophist list of ideology. What's the reasoning for reconnaissance? Are you feeling this? Tell me, are you feeling this? Are you feeling this? Tell me, are you feeling this? These roots go.
summer breeze will find our love like a synchronized destiny and these roots go deep like a juniper tree Finally, free again to speak my mind and define myself as me. Who are we outside of the identities placed upon us based on gender or ethnicity? This is who I am. I sing, I write, I teach. And no one can ever take that from me. This next song is called Breathe. I think we've had a, a long year uh, that passed. And this is the third version of the song because I'm still figuring out how to really process um, everything that we've worked through as human beings this last year. Um, of all, whoever you are, you know. Um, and so just finding a way to embrace yourself and who you are and what that means to the world. <clears throat> I came into this world, I knew that my breath was all I really need. I'm tired of searching for love. I'm tired of obsessing over illusions and delusions. I just, I just want to breathe. to the lungs alive Breathe into my soul Breathe until it all subsides Breathe until I'm whole Now let that real love flow Not that fake love, that real love flow. Let that real love flow into your soul. That real love. Let the seasons change Like the leaves of a tree I'll keep on changing Until I find a better me So gather all your friends and your family and we'll keep on growing until we find a better way still learning how that real love flow, that real love flow. Thank you. Um, woo, all right. Uh, yeah, I
again. My name is Erin Walker, and um, this next song is called We Belong, and I just finished writing this one this week, so I'm really excited about it. Um, so, yeah. <sighs> Actually, let me just take a second. <laughs> yeah, there it is. <laughs> Sometimes you lose your place. Uh, this song is called We Belong. Making our way through Babylon. I just want to sing my song like making our way through Babylon. I just want to sing my song like we belong, 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 making our way through Babylon. I just want to sing my song like making our way through Babylon. I just want to sing my song like we belong, 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 we belong. I'm connected to the music I protected and I use it to reflect and keep your groove and show respect cause this is a movement. Through the words, the sound, the fusion, I intend to keep you grooving, to keep you grooving. Watching the clouds diffuse into another shade of blue, I'm trying to find something new to say. But they say nothing new is under the sun, and what's done is done, so let's have some fun and say. We belong, we belong, we belong, we belong, we belong. We belong, we belong, we belong. Centerpiece of inner peace, a masterpiece design. Searching for a verity of truth amongst the lies. I create reality, the powers of my mind. In between the yin and yang, a balance we will find. Like, we belong, we belong, we belong, we belong. We belong, we belong, we belong, we belong like making our way through Babylon. I just want to sing my song like making our way through Babylon. I just want to sing my song like we belong, we belong, we belong, we belong like we belong, we belong, we belong, we belong. Oh, you were born to sing, so sing. Oh, you were born to dance, so dance. Because there is no pain, pain. There is no I think that's a good place to uh, take a moment. Um, so my name is Aramy Walker, and this January I just put out my first album. Um, thank you to For Culture and Smart Venture for helping me produce that. Um, it's called A Universe by Nature, and it's available on all streaming platforms. Um, also, if you've been wondering, how do I support art and culture? How do I support black businesses? Um, my first poetry book uh, is a haiku book called Story 400, 
And that's available on bookstores as well as on Amazon. So if you just type in Amy Walker, Story 400. Um, and that is about the 400th, well, it was inspired by um, August 2019 being the 400th anniversary of African people being brought to America. And it's kind of like the two years after that and where I was at and thinking about me as a modern person with roots in Africa and Europe and talking about you know, climate change and what does love look like and what is healing and therapy and you know, trauma and uh, perseverance and also like accepting these past identities but then also progressing past them. And then it ends with the lyrics of the album. So um, it would be really helpful uh, and, and amazing if, if you uh, were interested in, um, um, you know, contributing. Um, I have a website, aramiewalkermusic.com, A-R-A-M-I, and uh, an Instagram as well. So on that poetry note, I did want to I wanted to read a poem um, because, yeah, like I said, um, everybody is aware of how uh, intense and scary last year was. Um, you know, whether you're processing anger or fear or your identity or um, your work and what it means to you, um, we were all like challenged to self-actualize really quickly. And I think it either brought people together or tore people t apart. And um, so I wanted to read a poem by Edgar Albert Guest, and it's called The Stick Together Families. Um, and maybe this could be an opportunity um, if you have felt uh, tension or kind of torn apart from people you love, uh, maybe this could be an opportunity to uh, pull them back in. <laughs> um, so this is called The Stick Together Families. The stick-together families are happier by far than the brothers and the sisters who take separate highways are. The gladdest people living are the wholesome folks who make a circle at the fireside that no power but death can break. And the finest of conventions ever held beneath the sun are the little family gatherings when the busy day is done. There are rich folk, there are poor folk, who imagine they are wise and they're very quick to shatter all the little family ties. Each goes searching after pleasure in his own selected way. Each with strangers like to wander and with strangers like to play. But it's bitterness they harvest and it's empty joy they find. For the children that are wisest are the stick together kind. There are some who seem to fancy that for gladness they must roam, that for smiles that are the brightest they must wander far from home that the strange friend is the true friend and they travel far astray. They waste their lives in striving for a joy that's far away. But the gladdest sort of people, when the busy day is done, are the brothers and the sisters who together share their fun. It's the stick together families that wins the joys of earth, that hears the sweetest music and that finds the finest mirth. It's the old home roof that shelters all the charm that life can give. There you find the gladdest playground, there the happiest spot to live. And O oh, weary wandering brother, if contentment you would win, come you back unto the fireside and be comrade with your kin. Um, yeah, and on, um, on that note, uh, this next song is actually a cover. All these uh, other songs have been mine, um, but it is, Juneteenth weekend, and it's also um, it's also uh, Father's Day on Sunday. The best part about being an artist is you can uh, use art as a present um, in all cases. Now nah, that's not the best part, but it's it's definitely a perk. Um, so this next song is. This next song is uh, the first song I heard my dad sing, and it's called In Your Eyes uh, by Peter Gabriel. And so this is for Happy Father's Day, Dad, and uh, Grandpa Pat. Um, love you. <laughs> Oh. 
I get so lost sometimes. This past and this emptiness fills my heart. When I want to run away, I travel in my car. So I've got one more song, and uh, this is the acoustic version of one of the songs on my album called Worth the Wait, and this is about uh, sweet potatoes, uh, <laughs> you know, or anything that takes a long time. Uh, <laughs> you know, you, you like put in your sweet potatoes and your, and your onions and your garlic and, you know, whatever you put in, and then you put it in the oven, and it takes like 50 minutes, um, you know, but then eventually you know, it's, it's, it's good. So anyways, it's, it's about, um, I guess, patience in whatever it is, uh, whether it's food or friends or family or love. Um, something I'm learning. Uh, I'm pretty uh, impatient. I thought I was going to finish this album seven years ago. Uh, so that shows you my timeline's always slightly off, um, but we always make it. Um, so anyways, uh, this is my final song again. My name is Aramie Walker. Uh, yeah, check out my poetry books and my music. And if you're interested in collaborating, uh, we can play live now. So uh, I have a contact form on my website if your venue or event um, 
is uh, ready. I am interested in touring soon. So yeah, this is called uh, Worth the Wait. <clears throat> Day turns to night, turns to light, turns to memories pass by like the clouds in the sky, flying high. Oh, I learn to wait. For my faith, for my sake, oh, I learn to wait for my faith, for your sake. Cause good things that come with time. That good thing that come with time, you buy. So I learn to wait for my way, for my sake. so much. My name is Ermi Walker, and this has been my Unplugged concert series at Langston Hughes. It's such an honor to be here. Um, this is such a historical, empowering space, um, and I am so honored to be in it and to share my music with 
a historical landmark in Seattle. Um, thank you to my family and to my friends and the opportunity to share poetry and write. Thank you to my ancestors. Um, I'm, I'm blessed to do what I love. Thank you. That was beautiful. Um, we have a star on the rise here, folks. Um, and I just want to thank Aramie for, again, bringing your energy to this space. You know, we haven't, we've been doing a lot of recording in the space and some live streaming and things like that. Um, and, you know, it's been few and far between in the past 18, 19 months, obviously. And so when we have the opportunity to come in this space and perform and bring good energy, we love to see it. We love to do it. So uh, I want to thank Aramie Walker again for um, bringing her songs and her poetry to this We Out Here virtual concert, unplugged concert. And again, like she said, if you want to learn more about her, she did just release an album. Her website is aramiewalkermusic.com. So check her out. <laughs> 